Right, uh, as you saw from my last video, how to replace the Volvo clutch position sensor. When the um, resistive track in this goes faulty, it throws um, error code P0805 as a fault code in the engine management um, system. I speculated whether or not it would be possible to repair this, um, and it is possible. There's the part number, just in case, 9472979. And quite simply, all you have to do is pop this thing open. There's a couple of clips on that side, on that side. And solder in, in this case, a 5.6K resistor. But I'm sure you could get away with sort of anything between sort of 4 and whatever. Really, it's up to you. You just have to get that resistance down. Um, for those of you who don't want to know the science of it, I'll just post the pictures up and uh, show you how to do it. For the rest of you, if you want to see actually what happens, um, then keep watching. Catch you in a minute. Well, you want a little bit more detail. This is the old clutch position sensor that uh, came off my car with the one that was giving the cruise control error. Now, when I took this off and tested it, it was measuring from about seven kilo ohms, and then when depressed here, it goes down to about 500 ohms. Now, I replaced this with a brand new one, Volvo Genuine Part, and the uh, resistance values on there were about 3K open like this, and as the clutch pedal is depressed, it goes down to about 200 ohms. Now, inside here is a little resistive track, which obviously, you know, as you move the sensor across it, it changes the value of it. Now, I'd speculated that if you added a, a parallel resistor, now I won't explain the science of that, but if you put two resistors parallel to each other, they alter the resistance. Um, Google it, it's too technical for uh, me to explain, especially on a, a short video. This is a 5.6K resistor. All I'm going to do is open this case and bridge the contacts are actually in here in this bit here and just put this across the, that bridge the two tracks solder it in close it up and away you go now i've already done this one and i'm going to show you the results now if you can see my meter in the background that's on the 20k scale so we're down to about bit tricky because I've got to hold the pins on. We're at about, about 3k, just over 3k. Um, as I depress this, it goes down to about 440 ohms. Now, I'd wondered if that was going to actually make a difference. That's, that's, that reading is 4 kilo ohms less than it was before I put the resistor in. And like I said, I was wondering if it would actually make a difference. But I went and put it onto the car put my Volvo Vida unit on it and I'll show you the results. Now here I am in the car I'm running Volvo Vida software and you can see clutch pedal sensor uh, ECM engine control module clutch pedal sensor as I press the clutch get up guess about 10 or 15 mil it comes up as true which obviously is indicating that the clutch pedals pressed I can continue to push it all the way to the floor it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. As I let it off, I get almost to the top, almost to the top, and it comes back to value of nothing, which obviously is a bit binary. It's like an like on off. So why we have a resistor in here rather than just a switch, I don't know, but that's off, that's on. Now I'm gonna put the old one back on with the resistor in it and see if it makes any difference. Okay, there's my new sensor. I've just replaced it with the old one with the um, resistor in it and come back to ECM clutch pedal sensor now as I press it it's pressing quite a way but it's about twice as far as the other one but there we go it's at that 
you'd be slipping the clutch. But the point being is, it's working. Because we can all drive, we all know how to use a clutch and apply power and what have you. Um, but what happens with this, of course, is it doesn't give you, you lose your clutch, you lose your um, cruise control. And that's one thing I wasn't prepared to do. So that simple few pence fix shows it was working. Cruise control will now work and save you paying £50 like I did for a new switch.